Each year, it's fun to celebrate birthdays. And to be certain of our age, we can always check our birth certificate. But can any reliable methods determine the age of an object without a historical record? Radiocarbon dating measures the ratio of radioactive carbon-14 to stable carbon-12 in an organic artifact like wood or bone. The method assumes how much carbon-14 was present when the tree or animal died and how fast carbon-14 decays in order to calculate how old something is. Because carbon-14 completely decays in thousands of years, it should only be useful to date objects no more than tens of thousands of years old. However, using this method, scientists determined that samples from U.S. coal beds conventionally dated at 40 to 329 million years had carbon ages of 48,000 to 50,000 years. Diamonds are said to be billions of years old, but they still have carbon-14 in them and returned ages of about 55,000 carbon years. And supposedly millions of years old dinosaur bones and other fossils show dates in the tens of thousands of carbon years. Radioisotope and radiocarbon ages can clearly contradict one another, so how can we know which method to trust? Measuring isotopes is very accurate, but the assumptions needed to convert those measurements into ages can't be verified. After all, how can anyone today verify how much of each isotope was in a rock or fossil when it formed long ago, or that no isotopes entered or left? Carbon-14 and radioisotope dates rarely match an object's real calendar age. But because the Bible is like a birth certificate for the world, resolving Earth's age is a piece of cake.